as you can see, a few changes have happened. I felt it was time for a change. A better representation of what it is I hope to personify through this body or existence I'm living through. After 15 years worth of studying, after some time or some point worth of learning, if we just keep going, it never ends. Every day is a new day. Ah! Cool. <laughs> Even the bird laughed. You know, that's actually a pretty cool little moment, to be honest with you. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about today. Moments, frames, breaths of life. I guess you could say death. You see, when we think of the concept of death, or we think of death itself, a lot of us find it to be an ending. And in truth, death is the end, right? But death doesn't necessarily have to mean the end. And here we go, right, with another person's mean saying coming out with another, you know, blur blabber about death in itself and how it could be something. But no, we're going to actually explain it properly. Oh, what do you mean? You see the changes? Grasses keep falling down. That's supposed to be the joke in it all, you know? The joke in it all. I'm supposed to be giving a good representation, but these glasses keep slipping, like, you know? <laughs> With the continuation of this part, we're going to get into the topic of death. We're going to help ourselves understand this little portion of life, in itself, to the basic core of the function of our reality. Now, death does not necessarily mean you die and you just go into non-existence. Because like I stated in one of the videos before, which is uh, in the isness of it all. The is, I think it was called the isness in all. There you go. The isness in all. Sorry, it's kind of weird to get it because I used to have a, um, like a little stuttering problem. My mom used to tell me my vowels and stuff when I was a kid. I don't know if she remembers that. But, you know, little things like that. You know, those, see how I just went through that? It was just, it started and it was gone as soon as it began. A little memory, a little moment of remembrance, you know, death, in its sweet, passionate, subtle way. And we're okay with that, right? It just hurts when we lose someone in our lives, or it hurts when we forget something important, or when someone forgets something important in our lives. We start to think the worst things at times. We start to collaborate with the, with the mind and its ways of preparing itself. When in truth, there's no need for that. Sorry, I just... Saw a exoskeleton of the, you know, spider. You know, the molting skin, I guess you could say. Or it shedding its skin off or something like that. Molting its skin off. <sighs> See, even that in itself, spiders have to shed their old skin. To start new with the new flesh, you know, because they grow. Just like everything in life grows. But so too must a part of it die. So too must a part of it meet death. doesn't mean you're going to die and lose your breath. It could just be the final test in which you might have to, you know, learn to let go of something or say no to yourself when you want that extra bowl of cereal. No, you shouldn't. You know what I mean? Death can literally be in the simple complexity of a conversation. <laughs> you know, you can enjoy a conversation with someone for so long and all of a sudden it has to come to an end because one of y'all has got to go home. I mean, it doesn't always happen like that. Understand? So then the conversation keep going. At some point, somewhere in there, one part of topic comes to an end, and so it does begin the another. You know? It is not something we're supposed to be necessarily afraid of. Unless consciously there is a reason to be afraid of what you don't know about. Something unknown. What is to come next? 
see, I'm not necessarily standing around here trying to give an understanding of death because I come to find that discovery. No, I actually try to bring about these discoveries I've come to understand in the world and know and trust in to help others describe their personality and be able to live to the fullest potential. Now, these are just simple words and lectures. Like, I intend on doing much more than just simply just walking through a nice, beautiful scenery and actually, like, just speaking. There is a lot more ways and examples in which to personify this representation that I've, which I've had to give, and which I have to offer, actually, and share, mostly share, or mainly just share, to be honest with you, because it's, it's like anyone should have anything right. See, here comes the death to always just giving. This is the part where I have to say, why would I just give to you what has taken me a lifetime to learn? I'll share with you as we go, but in order to know what has taken a lifetime for me to learn, to understand, and I guess to trust in, to just give up like that, well, take the lifetime in which it takes to learn this. It may take you just a day, an hour. If I'm good at what I do, I could probably just help you just now. And there you go. What took me a lifetime, 15 years, if you just were to listen just once, you could probably hear in just maybe three minutes of your time. And so too it's began that deathly part in which I, myself, coming to understand this deathly reign and its most basic function on life or within life as life comes full circle, from birth to life to death, and on and so forth. Poop. So two begins in a little moment where you see, I just said right there, poop. We went from just being that serious to just saying poop. And that reminds me because when I'm out here with my friends, we always have like this uh, little doing where we see poop, you do that, and everyone's like, oh God, no, don't step there because you know poop. And everyone laughs and it's fun and it's joyous, and all of a sudden I think it's calm, joke's over, and everyone's just walking and enjoying, you know? That sweet, soothing, deathly way of things slowly coming to an end. A joke sprouting like, through birth, living its tender moment, and all of a sudden coming to its subtle, deathly way. See, death is not supposed to be something so scary all the time. But let's just say, let's go ahead and break it down to a scientific point of view. And what do I mean by this? It's because you see, at the same time, I could be speaking all these beautiful things in all these beautiful way, but there is a specific function. Oops, see? Because it's like physics states that as long as my head remains greasy and slimy, from all the sweat and everything, these glasses are going to fall. And that's a fact. So, it is also a fact that although we have pretty crazy experiences, you know, like afterlife experiences and stuff like that, or these crazy happenings in the world, these miracles, there are scientific facts that although they can't be proven, there are things that we have to just believe in, and there's a lot of it that can be explained by this point. Kind of like how in psychokinesis, they're not necessarily saying psychokinesis is a real thing, you know, like people lifting objects with their mind, you know what I mean, and exploding, you know, kitty cats with their brains. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, it's springtime. Um, there was no way for me to fight this allergy attack that I had, but luckily it wasn't too strong. I took, I drank some aloe juice because you see, what we put into our bodies through time, like we stated in the in a moment of your time video, you discover and see how you become these things and how they become you, how they take shape and root and create and shape you to be the person in which you want to be. You want to be a clean, healthy person, someone to have and live longevity with no illness. You gotta live happily and positive so you don't create toxins within your body. Understand? So that way you don't, because your body will naturally create toxins to create, to help you feel negative when you feel sad. That means that you will feel a certain way, and these are toxins within the body. Of course, you know, they get easy to spell it, and the body's able to withstand them and everything, but if you live your life completely like this, you weaken your immune system, just literally just being sad all the time. Finding a problem in the world. Do you know that? It's a fact. So you see, we could blame it on the devil. We could blame it on, like, people. But in the end, you could just be causing your own misery, and you don't even know it. Or at the same time, you do know it. You're just too... See, I was going to use the term stupid. But we're going to try and reframe from using strong words like that unless we have to. Understand? To help in expressing or elaborating on what it is that I'm trying to state. Not state. Help understand. Because you see, like I stated in the path of the human being. Well, it's a big bug. 
if you're just taking it in my perspective, you're not seeing the whole picture to humanity. So therefore, you gotta understand, this is just me helping you to understand things and what I have come to discover. Anything that you have to say, I'm hoping to be able to offer something that can add on to your survival within this world. Your own happiness, creating that bliss. Everyone's talking about a path, everyone's talking about a way, but they're not coming to understand that things are changing. The age, people aren't coming to understand the age of Aquarius is coming, you know what I mean? Age of Pisces is over, stuff like that. The world is ending, people are going crazy around the world and everyone's still talking the same blubber blabber. It's not fair to anyone, nor to those who are still trying to save the world. Those who are still trying to keep it in chaos, those who are still trying to keep it in peace. So here comes death. And everyone feels that little wave. And everyone just silences for the moment because the, you know, the, the ranting and the, and all the, and all the talk is done at the table, you know, the round table and all. And here's death at the moment. And see how we went on just to everything and we just took a moment to breathe. That in its subtle way is a form of death. You see, we have come to understand death in the various forms. We have broken it down and segregated it away in ways to where we can understand and not feel specifically certain ways. You see, rather than feeling like deathly every day, which means that you're continuously always feeling woe, continuously always feeling negative, continuously always feeling angry and, and self-loathing and, and hateful, you know? This deathly way that withers the body, whatever that commits to that, whatever that, that brings and condones to that, whatever that is, in its withering texture is that deathly subtle way, or that subtly deathly way. Understand? In its core basics. A pause. The ending of a fragment. A symbol on a music chart. Staccato means death. So that way that deathly form is there and seen and stated. See, it's not to help you accept death. It is to help you see it at its basic function. That death is not necessarily an end. Death can necessarily be a beginning to something new in which you might not be able to, you know, be grasping at the moment because poop! I have my mind still based on saying that because I want to enjoy myself at the present moment. You understand? While making this video, of course. The word example in itself also has a form of deathly way. Right now, I'm trying to play a good example of what this is to offer. Now, if we want to understand death in its various forms, I need to help you understand. I am not a person who, like Morgan Freeman or like, you know, <sighs> oh, you know what? Like, like, yeah, exactly. Like Morgan Freeman or, you know, because he's got a Netflix show on TV. Well, a Netflix show, you know, and it's about him going around the world, you know, and trying to help us understand these things. But at the same time, I'm just like, a lot of us don't still have that way. And I understand and I'm grateful for that. But you're still not, and, and the information is being given, which is amazing. You got to thank him still for that. You know what I mean? Yet at the same time, we have to, there's still not something there reminding us in which we have to do for ourselves. The part in which all that is just information, all that is the livelihood in which our history and culture has based itself through the ages of evolution, of living within this existence of plane level, of reality, dimensional time, space, I guess, thread of existence. And yet there, in that brief sigh of a pause, the signifying of a moment coming clarity. So I don't make this video today to try and decipher death itself. There is too many ways in which it can fall out, too many ways in which it can be understood. I'm here just to help bring a basic understanding to these things to this new world that's coming about, you know? Everyone nowadays is looking at the news and feeling terrified about what's happening, but yet they don't take the time to go outside and just look that all that's happening in Washington, go outside and take a breath and you'll still see that there's still sunshine where you're at. If you're, there's nothing you can do to change the way the politicians are going about things, then go outside and change the way you're viewing life itself, maybe. 
Maybe with just that, you can you might motivate to you to talk to others, and just by talking to someone else, that person happens to be like a commissioner or someone, and then there starts a whole chain reaction about a simple idea you had that's gonna help thousands of people. See, that's big dreaming, right? A lot of people are gonna be like, oh yeah, but that's just dream talking, yada yada blah blah blah. You're damn right, and not everyone's meant to do it. But if you're not living life to the truest and purest of what you are. Knowing that right now I could be bitten by one of these fucking gnats and die from it. That's going to be the same point that you'll be seeing this video and you'll see someone literally die from being bitten from a bug. You will see that. And I will want someone to see that. I will want for someone to demonstrate that within this because you will be able to see that concept. That death in its subtle way just happens so subtly. You understand? And the various forms in which you will see. And <sighs> I've been avoiding it for a bit, but at the same time, I'm making this video for personal sake. It's kind of what also pushed me because for the second time, I'm having to be faced with cancer. Not me personally having it within me, but one of my parents having to go through it. First, it was my father, and now it's my mother. Luckily, everything turned out okay the first time with my father, and now with the second circumstance, the situation is popping up. I'm just like, mmm. <clears throat> You know what I mean? For a little bit, I didn't know how to feel about it because everything I've come to learn, I have such a disciplined way within me. I kind of, I come to finally understand what Buddha was stating within all his teachings. Because you see, this is that's kind of why I shaved my head too, and why I went about getting this little piece. Understand? Right there, just that alone is a mixture of just understandings from all around the world. That right there, you can find two things in place on the four, I guess, main beliefs in the world. That right there is a mixture of Hindu, or Indonesian, and Buddhism. I believe Japanese. See? Even I'm still like, okay, uh, I think so. Boop! <laughs> Whoa. And there I go tripping. You know? I don't know if that's supposed to be happening, but from what I've learned, the devil is very good at making weird shit happen and trying to throw you off your game and your balance so I guess that's why I'm coming to make this video too to state a point in my life again that I'm trying to do something for the world like I've tried to state it like I've tried doing with those other videos like I've tried with this time doing for myself being away from making these videos death in its way took me away from doing this took me away from playing guitar took me away from the very people I loved to discover myself so that way I can finally have a moment of clarity. And I've had it. This is mine. And like I said, as you join me on this journey I embark on, right now I'm just simply walking. And you'll see things change in my life and you will come to understand that there is a way to have your certainty. There is a way to go about life having all the treasures and spoils that you wish to have and living a prosperous way. And I guess you could say, coming to end in terms you'd like. I'm not coming to say these things so that way it can be blasphemous. It is just that, even at the same time, while all this is changing, this is the part where I get a little bit more scared because I don't want to transgress against God. Trust me. I don't want to transgress against anything that's going to be stronger than me, especially while I'm living in this world that can make my time a bit more difficult. But there are things that have to be said and things have to be known. And that makes things play out as example. That's what makes things are, you know, play out the way they do. That's what happened for Jesus Christ. That's what happens to anyone who decides to stand up for something. You see someone in front of you getting bullied, and you st and you stand up for that. You're damn right. The bully's gonna stand up against you. That's just how it works. When you take away the name bully, when you take away the scenario, the, the word scenario, and you look at the, all that happening, you see how you're able to see that in your head. All that happening, that entire happening, the person, the two kids being bullied, the bullying, actually bullying the little kid, you feel like you have to do something, everyone's standing around just watching, the entire scenario of the school, everything, whatever it is that you want to see it as, the entire scenario, take away the word scenario, all that meaning, all those names, all that just flows away. That whirlwind of life, which in some cases will be called and known as the mandala, you know, or like uh, known as the flower of life. In which you get that grand swirl in which creates the bridge that binds all things. Which is supposed to be another form of death through sacred geometry. To help us understand why and how we go about through the functions of normality in their most basic geometrical sense. Understand? 
kind of like how we can make different formations with our hands and stuff like that, you know? Stuff like that, you know, like Chinese. You no, know, not Chinese, but like, you know, different formations, you know? Martial arts, stuff like that. You catch my drift? There's all different forms. All different various ways that life can come to an end. And I'll just take a moment to just let all of that just settle in. Forget about it, if anything. Just listen to this, you know? You hear the birds? I'm actually gonna cough. <coughs> I was actually getting a cold. But, uh, it turned out to be okay because I, put some, I made like myself a really good concentrated uh, aloe vera juice out of just pretty much just aloe vera, water, and lemon with some sugar, you know? And that really helped me out. But, you know, you still don't get to avoid the, the whole thing itself because the body starts to go through what it's got to go through. That's just natural. Right now, I feel still a little sick. But I'm able to have still the strength and burp and everything to come out here and do what I have to do to make this point in my life through this video. A moment. Uh, I guess you could say of my personal time to help those understand that I've still yet again avoided the fact that my mother has stage one cancer, right? And this isn't supposed to be out of pity. This is to help understand. You see, it's not taking that to help me make this video. It's just helping me understand that opportunities happen. And right now my mom is pretty sick. You understand? She's been sick for a while. Just like many people in this world are sick. And it is our job and duty to make people who are understanding this reality, seeing deathly way coming not so subtly, because like I stated, we've been talking about death in a subtle way. But now when you see death coming at you, just like that, just hit on horse, like full war, full pestilence, you know? All you could say is, well, hello and goodbye. Because that's how it works. That's how death works. Helps you realize and see the point in which you started to the point in which you just, you know, you're taking a nice breath. It's that one moment right there, it just makes you look all the way back and for that little moment you remember all that life. For that one breath of time. For that one moment of time. Like I stated in the beginning, in the first video, a moment of your time. That was the whole entire point of it. You know? That was the whole entire point of it. To help bring an understanding that every single little fragment in which you try is a moment of time in which you take to create something in which also shapes you to be in what it is you stand now in this moment of time itself within this space of life itself when you take all that meaning and those two th things I just said when you just see it there all of this those simple words this that it brings a death in a most gentle way to all the concepts, to all the various unknowns, to help you understand that it is alright and that there is still at least one moment of your time. <sighs> to create certainty for whatever it is that you need or fa are, are, or are facing. Understand? Because death comes in its many forms. My mother may not actually pass away with this cancer. She may actually live a long life. You understand? Because she might pro pro probably start putting in the foods she needs to start eating. But that's something that can't change unless, well, someone like me goes and changes that. We gotta understand. Deathly ways and their subtlety are not necessarily supposed to just be moments in which things come to an end, but in which they begin in which one recognizes and realizes that they're supposed to get up and do something, just like the person who stopped that bully. Understand? You ended the reign of that bully upon the kid in his deathly subtle way. For a moment, there was peace. For a moment, there was justice. And that's what you call that.
that simple, deathly, simple, subtle way right there. A little ending to something. That's what you call that right there. Justice. Someone standing up for someone who couldn't do it for themselves. That is justice. Because they that's just what you know, these people create. They create scenarios like that. And when you get up and you do something like that, you presented what is known as justice in the views of those who are watching. Justice in the view of what you see. Because you proved and justified what it is that you stand up for. And that brought about a deathly way, an end to that simple happening. In which can be seen and known as just a simple life living in this world. In the way and various forms in which we can choose to express ourselves and be comfortable in as we pursue our happiness through this existence, which is also on our constitution, everyone. Don't forget that. Pursuit of happiness is important. Can't let every, we can't let the, the government change everything, right? So, turns out I walked a little too far. Didn't intend for that to happen. But, maybe with this point on, I might find an easier way out to around things. Not around things, but through them, around them. Every now and then you gotta walk around some stuff. But I just wanted to help you all understand death and its basic core function as it plays out through life to show us the beginning of an end. Hey, I wrote a song about that. <laughs> Later, everyone.